Hey there YouTube, it's Dr. Yash here. I would welcome you back to the shop, but we're not at the shop. We're standing next to this thing. I'll show you what this is. Alright, so yeah, you're looking at a bus. So it looks like uh, I'm going to be starting a new series here with this bus. It's a 2004 2004 uh, Thomas Safety Liner HD or HDX. Still uh, getting the specifics straight on it. Um, you see, flat nose, rear engine. Gonna be doing a little bit of a uh, conversion. Don't mind the mess. Um, just uh, this has already been started on. Um, it's got an electrical issue, so it's kind of was halfway through being there's a refrigerator in here it was halfway through being converted um to what they call schoolies or you just call them motorhome but yeah you see the dashboard here all the switches and buttons and all that fun stuff but um yeah so that's gonna be um of course this has all been pulled down uh the the walls need to be insulated so all this is gonna have to come out um, but anyways, you can see it's a, it's originally a 54 passenger, 54 passenger bus, but, um, roughly 30 something foot long. I don't have specifics on the length of it yet. I have not measured it, but we'll go look at all the cool stuff, the, the real fun stuff back here. Oh yeah. So what you're seeing here is Caterpillar 3126E. It's actually probably one of the last 3126Es ever made because they switched over to the C7s in around 2004. So this one being a model year 2004 was like, uh, this is like the very end of the 3126s. From what I can tell. So you can see it's been operated in the county it came from, salted the roads. It was uh, from Maryland. I believe it was Maryland. But um so you got a little bit of a little bit of rust, but nothing real crazy. Except for I'm not seeing as much on this video as I would have hoped. But basically, got a big old turbo diesel straight six. Got plenty of room back here for storage actually, so I will probably end up having a storage for some tools and fluids and things of that nature back here next to the air cleaner. There's a ton of room back here. So I may have to set up a separate toolbox and a, and a uh, compartment for extra fluids for this vehicle. And that's going to be really cool. I'm excited to uh, turn it into a motor home the electrical issue that it's having right now i believe is mostly related to these switches which as you can see i've turned on all these switches and i don't get nothing so we got something going on back here um i believe most of the issue is going to be inside this box here but i haven't opened the box yet so these screws are going to have to get ground off um, in order to get into the box, but um, have to dig on, dig into some wiring diagrams and things of that nature to get some more info, and uh, then I should be able to get something done on this. But anyway, stay tuned for the progress. Just wanted to make a quick intro video as to what the new project is, this new series, and um, you know, basically to show you where its starting point is. So. Stay tuned. I'll be giving you some more videos on this as it progresses. Uh, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.